Uh, today we're going to uh, complete the graph of a function, if the function is an odd function. We're given a graph uh, that you see on the board, and we're saying it's an odd function. But for it to be an odd function, uh, there must be some more of it missing. So uh, first question is, what is an odd function? And you might remember that an odd function, uh, for every point on the graph, there's a corresponding point that is uh, reflected across the y and the x-axis. Um, another way of saying that, for every point on the graph, f of x, there is also a corresponding point at negative f of negative x. So f of x and negative f of negative x are on the graph. So once again, uh, for us to have an odd function, for every point on the graph, there must be a corresponding point that it has been reflected across the y and the x-axis. So let's do this one point at a time. So we have uh, point A over here. So first we're going to reflect it across the y-axis. And so point A is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over and 1 down. So now it must be over at 5 over and 1 down on the other side of the y-axis. And that's point A. And then, of course, that same point must be reflected across the x-axis, which would put it, rather than one below the x-axis, that would put up one above the x-axis. And that would be our new point A, or we'll call it uh, A prime. Let's look at point B. Looking at point B, uh, if we reflect it across the y-axis, right now it's at negative 3, 1, so now it'll be a positive 3, 1. And then if we reflect across the x-axis, rather than it being at 3, 1, it would be at 3, negative 1. And that would be the corresponding point to B. We'll call that B prime. And let's erase that extraneous point. Let's look at C. At C, uh, we this point is at... Uh, 1 comma 1, if we reflect across the y-axis, it, it goes to 1 1 as opposed to negative 1 1. And then if we reflect that point across the x-axis, instead of being one unit above the x-axis, it would be one unit below. And there's our corresponding point for C. We'll call it C prime. And C prime just simply means that it's just another letter with a little dot, a little line on top just so that we can show that they're matching up, that C and C prime correspond to each other, B and B prime correspond to each other, and A and A prime correspond, correspond to each other. Finally, point D, which is at the origin, and if that's been reflected about the y-axis, it pretty much stays where it is. And then if it gets reflected across the x-axis, it once again stays where it is. So D is the same as d prime, uh, and therefore it is both. And so that point just stays where it is. And now all we need to do is co connect the dots. So if we just connect from a prime to b prime, from b prime to c prime, from c prime to d prime, this entire graph that you see on these axes is an odd function. It's an odd function because for every point on the graph, there's a corresponding point that's been reflected across the y and the x-axis. Now, why don't we just show at least one of these points uh, really reflect the definition of what an odd function is. Remember that we said that f of x and negative f of x uh, must be equal if this is an odd function. So let's just pick our point A prime which is here. Notice that this point is at 5 comma 1. And its reflected point across the origin would be here, which is at negative 5 uh, comma negative 1. So let's see if what we said is true in our definition. According to our definition, f of x must be equal to negative f of negative x. 
Well, f of x in our case is f of 5, so we'll say f of 5. And is it true that f of 5 is equal to negative f of negative 5? Well, f of 5, if we go back and look at our a prime, gives us a value of 1 when x is 5, y is 1. So there's a 1 on this side. f of negative 5 on the other side, if we look over here at the other side, you'll notice that f of negative 5 gives us a y value of negative 1. So f of negative 5 is negative 1. Remember, we have to put the negative sign outside, and we all know that a negative of a negative 1 is a positive 1. So 1 on the left gives you a positive 1 on the right. Yes, it is. That's true. So certainly those two points are reflections across the origin. And every single corresponding point on this graph, will be that, will be, that will be true as well. Okay, so now it is your turn. What we'd like you to do is complete the graph of the function below if the function is an odd function. Good luck, and see you again next time.